heard today of a discovery that could change the future of space exploration. Water on the moon. We've been hearing a lot about it for a long time, but a lot more scientists than previously thought think it's up there. In fact, we're told there's so much of it that it has the potential to one day sustain human colonies. NASA scientists report they've found evidence of large ice deposits deep below the lunar surface. The findings based on last year's L-Cross mission, and during that, scientists smashed two spacecrafts into the moon crater to gather data. With us now, with more on what this could mean, the UCLA planetary science professor, David Page. David, great to see you. Thank you. Great to be here. A like 1,500 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water is one guesstimate I saw. Yeah, there could be a lot more depending on how far it's distributed and how far below the surface it extends. Big picture, what does this mean? Well, you know, we'd always suspected that there was water on the moon, but having some real good hard proof of it really changes the way we might approach this in the future. Uh, we'd like to certainly go to many more spots in the moon, and of course this water on the moon is found near the polar regions where it's very cold and it's a frozen state. So we want to go to try to explore these areas uh, in greater detail in the future and maybe bring some of it back and find out really, you know, in detail what it's made out of and where it came from. Yeah, because, because the, in, in the thinking is it wouldn't have come from there, it would have come from somewhere else hitting into there, right? I mean, Yeah, uh, when we discovered uh, the water, we also found a bunch of other compounds, and these are compounds we often find inside comets. So the working hypothesis is that comets hit the moon, the water migrated there and cold trapped, got cold trapped there just the same way that sort of water and ice uh, accumulates in your refrigerator. And uh, that stuff is just sitting there in a frozen state and it's accumulated there maybe for billions of years. Wow. Uh, I, the, at the lead into all of this, the, I said it's possible that it could someday sustain human colonies. Does that sound like a stretch? <laughs> no, not, not totally. Um, you know, we don't really have a fully feasible plan for colonizing the moon yet. There's lots of different ideas about how we might go about it doing it, but a key ingredient to a successful colony is to be able to you know, live off the land. And anytime we find resources out in the solar system that humans could utilize, that potentially gives us a real leg up in terms of doing it. Obviously finding a lot of ice is a big plus, and it's simply a question of how much is it there, uh, and how much does it cost, literally, uh, to extract and use it relative yeah. to how lot much it would cost to bring it from Earth? Well, I have some thoughts about who to send up there if they, if they need some people to send to living on the moon. I, I have some ideas, but I'll get those oh, to Oh, good. You and who would that be? Oh, no. We'll talk about okay. that after the program. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> it's great to see you. Thanks so much for being here.